In this video, I'm going to explain what phantom power is when it comes to microphones and when you need to use it. Hi and welcome or welcome back to DIY Film with Merle Becker, the channel where I help you make better videos. As always, stick around to the end of the video for a bonus tip. All right, so if you've watched any of my other videos, you know I'm always telling you to use an external microphone when you're shooting your videos. If you do, you're gonna get better audio. If you'd like to hear more about why this is, I'll leave a link to my guide to miking for filmmaking in the description. So sometimes you'll see a little switch on your camera near the audio inputs that is labeled phantom power. Unfortunately, not understanding what phantom power is and when to use it can lead to a damaged microphone, and you don't want that. So let's dive in. Phantom power is just a spooky way of describing a way to deliver electricity to a piece of equipment, in this case, a microphone. With a microphone that uses phantom power, the electric current runs from the camera or audio equipment through the XLR cable to the microphone. The most common type of mic that requires phantom power is a condenser mic. A condenser mic can either be a large diaphragm, which you would commonly find in a studio, or a skinnier shotgun condenser microphone, which is often used in filmmaking, at the end of a boom pole, or mounted directly on the camera. Many filmmakers choose condenser mics because they pick up a wide range of frequencies, and their pickup pattern can be fairly directional, making them good for getting clean dialogue on set. So, how do you tell whether or not your microphone needs phantom power? To answer this question, let's start out by breaking microphones into three main categories. One, microphones that use plug-in power. Some microphones get their power from the camera without needing to switch anything on, like this Video Mic Go. Plug in the eighth inch jack to the camera and you automatically have power going to the mic. So, no need for phantom power here. Then, there's microphones that use batteries, like this shotgun mic here. If you see a power switch on the mic and you can open it up and put batteries in it, it's likely a battery-powered mic. That being said, there are also hybrid mics that use either batteries or phantom power, but more on that in a minute. So in general, if you know it's a battery-powered mic, there's usually no need to flip that phantom power button on. And lastly, there are microphones that use phantom power. As mentioned, mics like these condenser mics use phantom power. So if you know you're using a condenser mic and you don't see a place for batteries in your mic, you would usually turn on phantom power. But here's the catch. Make sure this phantom power button is off when you plug in the mic. Plug it in first, then turn phantom power on so you don't damage your mic. And lastly, there are hybrid mics, sometimes called multi-powered mics, which can use either phantom power or battery power. The key here is that you use one or the other, not both. So if you have that phantom power button on your camera on, you wanna make sure that the power button on the microphone is turned off and vice versa. And lastly, if you're unsure and you wanna make double sure you're doing the right thing, locate the make and model of your microphone, then do a search for the instruction manual and quickly check what type of microphone it is and if you should be using phantom power. As they say, if all else fails, read the manual. All right, let's do that tip. Do you wanna use a fancy XLR microphone with your mirrorless camera? Well, there's a thing to help you do that. And it's called a Beach Tech XLR adapter. And I use one all the time. It costs around 150 bucks and runs on a nine volt battery. You attach the Beach Tech to the bottom of your camera, then plug in an eighth inch pigtail into the Beach Tech out and into the mic input on your camera. And then plug in your shotgun to the XLR here. Screw it onto your tripod head and voila, you can use your fancy condenser shotgun mic to record audio for your film. Nice. So don't drop the big bucks on a camera that has XLR inputs. Grab a Beach Tech adapter and record away. I'll leave a link to mine in the description. All right, as always, if you found any of this helpful, please give the video a thumbs up, subscribe and hit the bell so you know when the next one is posted, and I will catch you next time.